Ultrasound guided IV access is all about locate, locate, locate. First, locate the correct patient, confirm you can use the arm for IV access, and locate yourself relative to the patient so that you can easily and comfortably see both the patient's arm and the ultrasound screen. Ideally, use a long IV catheter as the veins you will aim for tend to be too deep for traditional catheters. Second, locate the best vein for cannulation using a linear array probe. In general, try to use the veins of the forearm as they tend not to blow. Be sure you are using a patent vein. Veins compress easily while arteries are more round, pulsatile, and more difficult to compress. Measure the depth of the vein using the guide on the screen. Ideally, use the biggest, most shallow vein you can find, but don't go below 1.5 centimeters or you run out of catheter before you hit the vein. Always make sure your probe indicator matches your screen indicator to help you redirect your needle if you break the skin to the side of the vein. Break the skin at a 45 degree angle the same distance back from the probe as the vein is deep. After you break the skin, you must locate the needle tip at all times. This is a two-handed dynamic process using the ultrasound probe and the transverse view relative to the vein of choice. To do this, after breaking the skin, you should pause movement of your needle hand, find the tip of your needle using your probe hand, then slowly advance the probe hand and needle hand away from the skin puncture site until you see the needle tip enter the vein. A key tip to success with this procedure is that as you enter the vein, you must both lower the angle of the needle so it is flat against the skin and advance at least two to three millimeters further as the needle is longer than the catheter. Final pro tip, you can always confirm placement by placing the probe longitudinally above the vein and inject saline. Watch as the fluid goes through to the vein.